Good evening, Hornet fans. Welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. Tonight's matchup between the Cleveland Cavaliers and your Charlotte Hornets should be an exciting one. King James is in the building, but we're not bowing down for a ham. We're bowing down for your Charlotte Hornets and what they could possibly do tonight. It could be an upset. The Cleveland Cavaliers are coming into this game on a loss to the New York Knicks where LeBron James put up over 20 points in a losing effort. So, if we can keep LeBron James to, let's give a number of 25 points or fewer and obviously a win for the Hornets, that would be the picture perfect scenario. But the Hornets, they're not having a fun time either. They are 2-10. They are struggling. There's been rumors about the owner selling the team. All of it right now is talk. And of course, none of it is actually real. So, tonight's preview is for the Cavaliers. And the player we're watching, LeBron James. 22 points a game. And we'd like to keep him under that 25 mark if possible. Tonight's starting lineup. Kemba Walker, Jeremy Lamb, Nicholas Batum, Marvin Williams, and Dwight Howard for the Cavaliers. Isaiah Thomas, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Tristan Thompson. Your key matchup, Kemba Walker, Isaiah Thomas. So far, Thomas has the edge. We'll keep an eye on that matchup also. Tip off from the Spectrum Center is just about to get underway. We're glad you made it. Let's go have some fun basketball tonight. Cleveland ready. Charlotte ready. We're ready. Tip off is underway in the Cleveland Cavaliers will take possession for the first time in this game. Dwayne Wade on top of the key. He is covered by Jeremy Lamb. Gives it off to Kevin Love to the left of the key. Throws it down low in the post to LeBron James. LeBron a little Euro step up and under. And it gives the Cavaliers the lead. Now Charlotte's first possession. Kevin Walker will take it up the court behind the back. Looking for a screen from Marvin Williams. Hands it to Marvin Williams. Down low and it's slam. Tie game. We pick things up five minutes to go in the first quarter. And this one, an alley-oop to Kevin Love. No good. Love tried to tip it in on the rebound. And we're all tied to 13. Walker to Lamb. Lamb, Howard gets by his man Thompson. And Howard slams it home. Charlotte, 15-13 lead. 440 to go. LeBron will inbound. Gives it to Isaiah Thomas, the former Celtic for shooting Cavaliers. He has been so far what they wanted and then some. Only thing wrong with Thomas, it's like Steve, uh, Stephen Curry from the Warriors. He can't drive, and when he does, it's usually not a good thing. So, covering that, we'll go back to the game now. LeBron, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebounded by Dwight. Howard gives it to Walker at the midcourt line. Howard, down low, he's open. Walker finds them. No good. Howard rebounds. Lamb, that's three. It's good. Charlotte up five. Timeout Cavaliers. Four minutes to go, and Charlotte holds a lead. Now, 2.20 to go here from the Spectrum Center. Cavaliers, a Derrick Rose, the former bull, coming off the bench as the sixth man. He puts it in the bucket. It's a two point game. So far, 7 for 17 for the Cavaliers on shooting. 8 of 15 for the Hornets. Now Malik Monk in for Jeremy Lamb. Back to Walker. That's 3 and that's good. So far, 2 of 2 on 3 ball shooting for the Hornets. They're up 5. 150 to go. Corver now in the game for the Cavaliers. So is Derrick Rose. Kevin Love remains in the game as well as the big three. Rose, spin move on Walker and it banks home. 22-19, Cavs down three. 130 to play here in Charlotte. First quarter action. Kaminsky now in the game for Charlotte. Back to Walker, finds Michael Kidd. Gilchrist on top of the key. Gilchrist wants a screen from Cody Zeller. Gets it. Gilchrist down to Zeller. And Cody Zeller gets the lucky rolling in. 24-19, Cavs take the ball up court. Jay Crowder now in. Again, another former Celtic. So, he gives it off to Derrick Rose, and he will take it almost to midcourt. 24-19, 10 seconds left. They're going to have to shoot the ball. Rose drives in. Pull-up jumpers. Good. 4.1 left. 
And will the Hornets have a chance? Well, they will have a chance. Kemba Walker, pull up. Three. It's good. At the end of one, Kemba Walker hitting two three-pointers in the first quarter. And your Charlotte Hornets hold a lead on the Cleveland Cavaliers. An explosive first quarter by standard so far this year. 27-21. Hornets lead the Cavs. Second quarter action, 35-25, Cavaliers down 10 to your Hornets. 8.50 to play in the first half. Here from the Spectrum Center, Jeremy Lamb with the ball now. He works on Isaiah Thomas. It's stolen by Thomas. Thomas up court, all alone. Gilchrist blocks it. Pick up by Crowder, and Crowder finishes the play with a layup. 35-27, that's Jeremy Lamb in and out on a hesitant three-ball shot. Thomas Step back. It's good. Cleveland putting the target on Charlotte. All of a sudden, that 10-point lead has evaporated. LeBron drives in. It's good. Four-point game. Dwayne Bacon. He gets blocked by LeBron. LeBron to the left. That's Jeff Green. Back to LeBron. And one. That foul on Nicholas Batum. LeBron can put the Cavs within one. Called for it. And he did not pass it to his former Miami Heat teammate Dwayne Wayne. Instead he took it himself. And that's an and one. However, Charlotte does hold a four point lead. And that missed shot. Plus a block from Zeller. Is going to give the Hornets some momentum. Malik Monk. Pull up three. No good. Charlotte misses again. Malik Monk, not the greatest three-point shooter this year. Blocked by Zeller. The Hornets push the ball. Monk will drive. Takes a lamp. No. Passes out to Kaminsky. Kaminsky finds Monk. Top of the key. He lets this one go. One, two. It's good. Three from Charlotte. 48-41 Hornets. 45.9 seconds to go here in the first half. The home crowd's still in it. Your Hornets are still in it. And they've been ahead all game. Marvin Williams now covering LeBron James. Down low post. Turn around. Fade away. No good. Rebound. Kevin Love. No good as well. Cody Zeller picks it up and runs in transition. Gives it to Walker. Gives it to Monk. Monk finds Zeller. Zeller will post up. Finds Frank Kaminsky on the left side. Kaminsky cross over. Looks to back down LeBron James now. Finds Zeller top of the key. Cody Zeller working on Kevin Love. Zeller a little pull up. It's good. 50 to 41. Charlotte. LeBron takes the ball up the court for Cleveland. Five seconds now. Has Kyle Korver who steps back for a three. No good. Marvin Williams rebounds and hit the end of the first half here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Your Charlotte Hornets lead the Cleveland Cavaliers by nine. 50 to 41 so far. If that's anything like the first half, the second half should be high explosive fun. So, Tyron Liu, the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, well, he's given his opinion to the sideline reporter David Aldridge, working for 2 Gay Sports, and basically, we got to change everything. Liu said, we have to change everything. Right now, nothing's working against this team. So, with that message in the mind of his Cavalier team, will they turn things around? Well, it's 52-45. How about Dwayne Wade? A little Superman action on the and one opportunity. Dwayne Wade will make it now if he makes the free throw a four-point game. So, Wade on the free throw. It is good, and it's a four-point game. 52-48, 8.39 to go in the third quarter. Campbell Walker takes the... Inbound pass, tried to go behind the back, no look to Dwight Howard, did not work. Isaiah Thomas now with the ball, finds Kevin Love, top of the key, gives it around to LeBron. LeBron will look to drive, he gives it back to Love on top of the key. Thomas to Dwayne Wade, pull up jumper, it's good two point game here in Charlotte. Charlotte makes an and one, so it's a five point game once again. 55-50, blocked by Marvin Williams. Batum with the ball drives in finds Kate Gilchrist Gilchrist looking for an opportunity finds Howard Howard down low it's good Dwight Howard about to say he got blocked but there's no blocking that from Dwight Howard 
59-58 now, 150 to play in the third quarter. Corver, shoot, good, three-pointer, catch and shoot special, he will hurt you, and that's actually their first lead, I believe, in the ball game since the first possession, so, Malik Monk, he would have some things to say about it, how about getting Kevin Love's third foul tonight, and going to the line for an and one opportunity, Malik Monk, the rookie from Kentucky, taking the contact, and then finishing with a follow-through. So Malik Monk would give the Hornets lead once again just for the second time this evening if he can successfully convert this and one free throw. Malik Monk from the free throw line, 126 to play in third. It is good. So 62-61 Charlotte. And it's Cavalier ball. Jeff Green will take it up. He gives it to D. Rose. Rose to Love. Love hands off to Jay Crowder. Crowder, he can shoot a three, so can Love. They won't here, though. Love looking to back down Cody Zeller. No good. Zeller rebound. Has Marvin Williams on the three-point line. Step back, finds Zeller, who finds Jeremy Lamb. Ten seconds now to go in the third quarter. Lamb looking for a screen from Cody Zeller. Gets it. He will step back. He throws it to Kaminsky. Kaminsky to Williams. Williams has Jeremy Lamb open for three. It's good. 1.6 seconds left. Third quarter, four-point game, Rose. No good, and at the end of three, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a ball game. It is a tight one here in Charlotte. Only a four-point lead separates these two ball clubs. 65-61, a slew of defense has been on display tonight here in North Carolina. The only question is, who's got the better fourth quarter unless we go to overtime? Well, so far, so good. How about Steve Clifford's message to his Hornets defense? Hands up, let him have it. Do not foul. We can't afford it. And would he be right? The run by the Cavaliers would break this down to a two-point game. Zeller, the former Tar Heel. How about this one? A little pull-up jumper. It goes. 69-65. 9.30 to go. But two, man. 171-65. Hornets up by six. Nicholas Batum will go to the line for and one. Tyron Lou's face, not happy. He does not like what he's seen from his Cavalier team. So, Jeremy Lamb comes in for Nicholas Batum, who will take that free throw, and Jeremy Lamb converts. So, 72-65, 8 minutes to play. Hornets ball, Lamb takes it up court. So far, the rebound advantage, plus 8 for the Hornets, and they like that number. Lamb looking for a screen from Dwight Howard. Lamb gets a screen, feeds it down low, somehow gets to Dwight Howard. Howard on LeBron, it's good! Slams it home. Under Armour unleashed chaos moment, and LeBron gets posterized. So far, the refs have been nice to the Charlotte Hornets, calling no BS calls when LeBron drives into the paint. Isaiah Thomas now to LeBron James. Speaking of LeBron, here we go. On Batum, it's blocked. Howard with the rebound. Marvin Williams to Walker to Lamb. Pull up three. It's good. 77-65. Hornets lead, but again, another run. By the Cavaliers, and this little nifty dunk would have the Cavs within two. Zero points in the last three minutes for the Charlotte Hornets. 4.22 to go in the game. And it's 77 75 Hornets lead. But two. Passed open the open three. He takes it this time and one. Foul on Tristan Thompson. And the second half for Nicholas Batum. That's his first bucket of the game, folks. But what a time it has come. Maybe he will light the offense a little. So Batum will go to the line for an and one opportunity. Correction, Jeremy Lamb had the and one opportunity before. So we apologize to Batum and Jeremy Lamb. Charlotte, 89-77 lead. Guess what? That is going to be your final. Charlotte Hornets never back down. Just like the Spurs on the road in San Antonio. You don't back down. You don't give up. Good things might happen to you. So, while the rumors go on about trading and 
giving the ownership up to the Charlotte Hornets club, uh, one thing's for certain. They're not going to back down, and they're not going to lay down while you sit and talk bad about them. Hornets beat the Cavaliers, who didn't play their heart out. 77 points from the Cavalier team. They fall to 9-6. and six. That's two straight losses for Cleveland. And that improves the Hornets' record on the season to 3-10. and ten. So, next time out, we don't know what's for certain for Charlotte. With new ownership, that could... That just could change everything. We don't know, but we know one thing. Charlotte will still have a basketball team, and you can still show up and watch your favorite team. Dwight Howard, player of the game. He talks to DA after the game is over, and what a game this was, folks. Once again, your final from the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Your Charlotte Hornets improved to 3-10 and on the year. Over a win of the Cleveland Cavaliers. 89-77, your final. Drive home safely. Have a good night.